please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. In this tutorial, we'll explore how to use Python's Unitist and the Unitist.mock library to mock the Shultl module in order to create unit tests that always pass, regardless of the actual implementation. This technique can be useful when you want to focus on testing a specific part of your code while avoiding the side effects of the Shultl module. We'll create a sample scenario where we want to test a function that involves copying a file using shultl.copy, and we'll mock the shultl.copy method to always return a successful result. Before we get started, make sure you have the following. Let's consider a simple function that copies a file using shultl.copy. We want to test this function, but we don't want to actually perform file operations during testing. To create a test for the copy underscore file function while mocking shultl.copy, follow these steps. In the at patch decorator, we mock the shultl.copy function with a lambda function that returns a mock object. This ensures that shultl.copy always succeeds during testing, regardless of the actual source and destination paths. Here's an example of an assertion you might use. Now, you can run the test. Save your test script to a.py file, for example, test underscore copy underscore file.py. Open a terminal and navigate to the directory containing your test script. Run the test using the following command. If everything is set up correctly, your test should run and pass, ensuring that the shultl.copy function is mocked and does not actually perform file operations. Mocking the Shultl module in your unit tests allows you to isolate and test specific parts of your code without the need for actual file operations. By following this tutorial, you can create tests that always pass and ensure that your code works as expected, even when using external libraries like Shultl. Chat GPT Title, Python Mocking Shultl for Always Passing Tests Introduction in software development, testing is an essential part of the process to ensure the reliability and correctness of your code. Mocking is a technique that allows you to simulate the behavior of external dependencies or functions, ensuring that your tests remain isolated and consistent. In this tutorial, we'll focus on mocking the Shultl library in Python to create test cases that always pass. Why mocking Shultl? The Shultl module in Python is commonly used for file operations like copying, moving, and deleting files and directories. When testing code that involves Shultl, you may want to avoid performing actual file operations in your tests. Instead, you can use mocking to simulate the behavior of Shultl functions, ensuring your tests are fast and predictable. Prerequisites Let's begin with a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to mock Shultl functions for always passing tests. Step 1. Install the required libraries. You'll need the Unitist and Unitist.mock libraries to create and run your tests. If you're using Python 3.3 or earlier, you'll need to install the mock library separately. Step 2. Create a sample function. Let's start by creating a sample function that uses Shultl to copy a file. We will later create tests for this function. Step 3, writing the mock test. Now, we'll create a test case that mocks the Shultl.copy function using the Unitist.mock library to ensure that it always passes. Here's an example of such a test case. Explanation. Step 4, running the test. Save the test file and run it using your preferred testing framework or by executing the file directly. If everything is set up correctly, the test should always pass. Conclusion Mocking Shultl in your tests allows you to create test cases that are isolated and predictable, ensuring that your code behaves as expected without actually performing file operations. This tutorial has shown you how to create tests that always pass by mocking shultl.copy, but you can apply a similar approach to other shultl functions. 
Mocking is a valuable technique for writing robust and efficient tests for your Python applications. ChatGPT